we're here with prickly cactus but it's spineless though and so okay so we have now found the ones that we want and we checked around and the other ones wasn't that great over there we only had a few breaks but we're gonna pick it from here and so right here remember how it was swallowing fish bones <laughs> but yeah you don't want it's the it's the first go round but let me let me try this one the fry one you said it was great let's try Prickly cactus, but it's spineless though. And so last time we had the other one, it wasn't this type. Right now we're looking at the ones. It's like you don't want to get ones. It's obviously like that. That's been burnt out, and you never know what animal could have already poked his way into it. So we're looking at ones where it's like not like that. But this is bunny ear. So if we take one, we got to take this too. We're gonna pick it from here. And so right here, we're gonna pick off this one first. This one doesn't have as much spines, but it does have some spines. So I would say is wear gloves, but if you don't wear gloves, make sure you grab in between here where the spines aren't actually thorny yet. So first off, we're just gonna bend it. And we got the first one off. So the one we actually want though, is this one right here. We're gonna actually have to take two of them. And this one, this one don't smell like green pepper. The last one we had tastes like a pickle. So we're gonna keep this one here and I'm gonna pull this next one off. So yeah, basically I just did a slight turn and I did get a little thorns in there. So I'm not saying do what I did, but all I'm saying is we're gonna go and pick this one up and we're gonna tell you more about it. All right, back to my latest for the last video scene, but let's get into this scene right here. Basically, I'm gonna put this here and I'm gonna do something that probably nobody on youtube is doing i'm going to add colloidal to this water that i'm washing with i washed it when i got to the house but i'm going to wash it again with colloidal silver what does it do kill lots of germs and bacteria so what you're going to do three small drips like i just did right there that's all we need and we're going to wash it to kill off the bacteria you know if you like a bacteria free but like you do want to kill all those germs out there. It's like not no joke out here in nature. All right, so, all right, we're gonna move these over here. And we want to tell you that the problem here is the spines. And I already told you earlier that, yeah, you will get these in your fingers if you don't have proper gloves. Don't have them, so I'm not gonna use them. And basically I'm gonna tell you what to watch out for. And I'm going to show you how to get these things out because you don't want to eat any of these. So I already looked this up myself. I smelled it. It didn't smell anything like the other one. The other one smelled like a pepper or something like that, like a green pepper. And we're going to go ahead and show you how to get the needle little things out so you don't swallow any of that. All right, so here we are. We got the bigger, more mature one, and we got the smaller one here. Well, what we're going to do is you see all these groves here. I'm going to use a knife to usually get this off. And what we're going to do is we're going to just cut here and I'm going to go in close for you. You just make a little small incision, go around it. And you're literally going to know that no prickly, no prickly is in your cactus. And you just pull it from there. And you're gonna have like a little bit of slimy stuff on it, but that's just part of the cactus and it's fine. But as you look in there, you can see no spine at all. So this is spineless, but at the same time, it has little small ones on there. So you have to get every last one of these out. Now on the corner section, what I like to do is we just like to go ahead and cut the corner section out because most of the Spines are right around that corner. So you might as well cut that off and 
you don't want to swallow none of these. Remember how it was swallowing fish bones? <laughs> but yeah, you don't want that scenario. And then right here at the end, we're going to cut that part off where it was connected to the cactus. We don't want any of that either. Take it and then flip it to the other side. All right, so last last thing we're gonna do before we actually start seasoning it, the final spine check. So now we're gonna find out if you're spineless. So we're just, we're just gonna do quick checks here. And these, they don't hurt as much even if they dig it in your finger. So, But that's all the checks right there. And even around the sides, we got everything cut out. Next up is the seasoning. That'll be the other one that's getting fried. But, man, I'm about to season it now. All right, so just smoked it with, I mean, not smoked it, but uh, seasoned it with smoked paprika, salt, pepper, put some organic butter on there. Now it's about to go in. I'm to place this in there, and I'm going to place it in for a good... 25 or 30 minutes. I'm gonna flip it as I put it in there. I'll come back and show you how it looks. All right, so it's been about 15 minutes now, and I'm gonna flip this thing. Sometimes they're really juicy, sometimes they're not, depending on what it's looking like. So basically, you don't wanna drop it like that. It's gonna get real flimsy feeling, but also it's gonna have this darkest green maybe lightest green but it's going to change brown you can tell the colors by checking the video so here we go oh it's crap come on man mm. ah. all right here we go need to do a video on how to flip a cactus all right so basically i'm baking some and then my woman over here about to fry some we're going to do a taste test at the end of the video i'm going to tell you how you know, it was, and the first one we ate tastes like a pickle. I just need to stop saying it, because I already said it like three times. But we're gonna see how these sound as, I mean, taste as well. All right, I'm about to do, what's the end to that now? I'm about to do a sample real quick. I'm gonna see how this tastes soon. Turn five here, five because I'm gonna put it back to you. This one actually it tastes like an okra. Yes. Okay, so. Bake one tastes like okra. And this is a fried one. That my lady just did. Now I'm finna taste it. It basically tastes like fried okra. Oh, okay. You ever have fried okra? It's hot. How are you eating it? Because I'm burning my mouth. <laughs> Stop burning your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Most important thing when you first go and get it is the smell. I've noticed that one of them smell like a pepper and that one tasted like a pickle. So if it smells like a pepper, that one tastes like a pickle. This one smelled more like, not like a pepper, but kind of like a, maybe slightly kind of like a unripe fruit, but it tastes like an okra once I ate it. So if you uh, fry it, you may want to bake it. Uh, and then after you bake it, you know, the insides will be done and then you could fry it with your hand will make it better. But by all means, explore and do whatever you want. If you don't like okra or fried okra, you probably won't like this. But if you do like that type of stuff, 
and this is your dish. And we're still experimenting with seasonings and flavoring and everything else because we tasted one that was really good. It's a donut, and I wouldn't even be pretty much trying cactus if I didn't ever meet my woman. So these cactus here pretty much unveils more to me as I go through my journey. And now I know more that I can survive.